Welcome in uh, Wiedikon. Uh, Wiedikon is, uh, is the point where I'll be taking the tram to, uh, to Elbersreden, which is the start of my, uh, yeah, my next tour. It's uh, tour number four out of this uh, wonderful book, uh, 50 tours around Zurich and the Zurich Zee. Um, this tour is actually going from the Uckliberg to, uh, to Felsenegg. It should take about uh, three and a half hours and uh, really looking forward to it. So uh, thanks for coming on with me on this trip. So it's now uh, 1.40, um, a new day, a new tour. Um, another tour out of uh, this great book, 50 tours around Zurich and the Zurich Zee. Uh, this is tour number four, which takes me uh, from the Jutliberg to, uh, to Felsenegg. I'm really looking uh, forward to it and uh, thanks for walking with me. Albisreden is, uh, is quite an interesting part of, uh, of Zurich. You have a lot of um, old, uh, old houses here and uh, sometimes it looks, uh, has more the feeling of an old uh, village than, uh, than part of a big, uh, big city like Zurich. Now the first part of the walk is uh, quite uh, uneventful uh, along the outskirts of, um, of Zurich on my way to the Jutliberg. Never actually uh, been here in this uh, part of Zurich but uh, looks really really nice. And this is what I really like about Zurich. Uh, you start in the city and It's quite an experimental path. Uh, it's quite frozen. And according to the GPS, this is the right one. And that's always good news. <laughs> Strange encounters of the third guy. Hello, Gritzi! <laughs> Das ist unerwartet! <laughs> so, we've just taken uh, a short uh, walk through the woods. Uh, I think it was some kind of shortcut because uh, here we seem to have uh, arrived on, uh, on the paved, uh, paved road again.
And I'm walking in the middle of this uh, of this road, but uh, it's okay, but quite scary. I mean, once every ten steps that I take, my uh, my foot is slipping. So uh, even here, when I thought it would be relatively safe to walk, uh, it's more adventurous than I thought. GPS is not incredibly reliable uh, because I think I'm on the right road, but it indicates already for a couple of minutes that I'm dead wrong. So, uh, now yeah, let's hope that um, that will get better. It's a beautiful walk, by the way. Very, very quiet. I expected to see much more people, but. Um, I'm either too late or at the wrong time of the day or I'm the only one um, who felt like walking today. Well, I didn't see that one coming. Apparently here I need to, uh, to leave the road after all. Um, looks not really attractive, but let's see what we get. There's quite a uh, steep climb ahead and it's really, really slippery. Far more slippery than I expected. Fortunately, I feel always have people who are way more sporty than I am. Really enjoying this beautiful, relaxing walk in the midst of the winter. Yes, the road is uh, incredibly slippery. Um, it's also a little bit too late, uh, given the distance that I need to make, but, uh, but really, really enjoying it. It is really beautiful here. Ja, ik ga er nu eindelijk van al die schieten gaan. En dan zoek ik die tram, want uh, dat is vooral echt het ziekeste. Ja. 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 And Switzerland being Switzerland, we basically light a fire whenever there is a resting place. Apparently this is the takeoff for the sledging exercise. Toch weer een klein beetje experimenteel. Ook uh, hele aparte maarschuwingsborden.
special, very special hut. It's a hut uh, which was uh, created by an independent group of mountaineers who resisted uh, the interview Italian Swiss Alp uh, Club. Incredibly cold, incredibly windy, incredibly slippery, and I really wonder if I took the right decision to get here. <laughs> it's incredibly lonely and deserted here, but apparently there are a couple of still a couple of houses. Really wonder how these people get here. Uh, the positive news is that I think I saw the light tower somewhere in the distance. The radio tower, I mean back on the panorama wake uh, there is a more sporty route available to the top but
and there is a beacon of civilization is the Luftseildown. 